Emily? Are you here? Nick? Oh God, it's really you. Well, it's hard to mistake this mug for anyone else. <laughs> you keep laughing at death. Someday death's gonna laugh back. Not as long as I got a few friends to back me up. You saved Nick, this agency, and my job. Thank you. Happy to do it, yeah? Go diving into scary pre-war ruins all the time then, do you? Here. I know an amount wasn't on the table when you went out to find him, but you deserve a reward. Plus a little something extra. You know, if you're looking for work and don't mind putting on the detective hat, Nick sure could use a new partner. Whoa. One case at a time, Ellie. Our new friend needs our help first. All right, let's get down to business. Take a seat. Make yourself comfortable. Trying to find someone who's gone missing. The devil is in the details. Tell me everything you can, no matter how painful it might be. We were in a vault when it happened. Vault 111. It was some kind of cryo facility. You were on ice, no? More importantly, you were underground, sealed up. A lot of obstacles to get through just to take one person. What else can you tell me? My husband was... murdered. He was just trying to keep them from taking Sean and they... they just... just... It's okay. You don't need to say anything more. So, we're talking about a group of cold-hearted killers that waited until something went wrong to resort to Anything else you remember? There was a man and a woman. They didn't say much, but I remember they called me the backup. So we're talking a small team, professionals, the kind that know to keep their lips tight when they're on the job. Not sure what the backup means, though. Anything else you remember? We're looking for my baby, Sean. He's less than a year old. Why would anyone take him? Good question. Why your family in particular? Why an infant? Someone would be taking on all of his care, and the baby needs a lot of it. And that confirms it. This isn't a random kidnapping. Whoever took your kid had an agenda. There's a lot of groups in the Commonwealth that take people. Raiders, super mutants, the gunners. And, of course, there's the Institute. Super mutants? What are they? Big, green, muscles on muscles. In other words, hard to miss. I think we can safely rule them out. Who are the gunners? High-end mercenaries. No job too brutal. They're in the running as likely suspects. They wouldn't be the ones pulling the strings. You think raiders might have done this? <laughs> I honestly doubt it. They can barely organize themselves, let alone pull off something this complicated. So, you think this institute is responsible? Well, they're the boogeymen of the Commonwealth. If something goes wrong, everyone blames them. Easy to see why. Those early model sense of theirs strip whole towns for parts, killing everything in their way. Then you got the newer models, good as human, infiltrate cities and pull strings from the shadows. Worst of all, no one knows why they do it, what their plan is, where they are. Not even me. I'm a synth myself. It's got a prototype anyway. You're a prototype? As far as I know. Never seen any other synth like myself. There's the older ones that are dumb as rocks and all metal, and there's the newer ones that are almost human. I'm somewhere in between. You don't know anything about them. Really? Some kind of security setting strips or blocks out those memories. And it's not just me. Any synth that gets trashed, left behind, or escapes the Institute has the same problem. Probably some kind of failsafe. Either way, I need to find Sean. Right. The speculation is getting us off track. Let's focus on what you saw. What did these kidnappers look like? 
The man who killed my husband, he had a handgun. I didn't get a clear look at it, but that's how. Could have been a large caliber revolver. Huh. I'm starting to get a clearer picture of the kind of man our perp is. Anything more you can tell me? I'll never forget that voice. Low and rough. Like, like sandpaper. Across your face. Not much to go on. A tough and commanding voice can get someone pretty far in the violence business. What else? The woman was dressed in, uh, I think it was a kind of hazard suit. The man had some sort of metal brace on his arm. Maybe some kind of improvised armor? A lot of hired guns do that to look tough. The hazard suit is interesting. Not many mercs can afford something that fancy. What else do you remember about them? One of them came right up to me. Bald head. Scar across his left eye. Wait. It couldn't be. You didn't hear the name Kellogg at all, did you? No. They never said their names. Mm. Way too big of a coincidence. Ellie, what notes do we have about the Kellogg case? The description matches. Bald head, Scar, reputation for dangerous mercenary work, but no one knows who his employer is. He bought a house here in town, right? And he had a kid with him. Didn't he? Yeah, that's right. The house in the abandoned wet stands. The boy with him was around 10 years old. You said he lives here? He's still in town? They both vanished a while back, if I'm remembering right. That house is still there. Let you and I take a walk over to Kellogg's last known address. See if we can snoop out where he went. Security doesn't really go to that part of town. <coughs> should still be careful. I always am.
easier if you use softer words, honey. Maybe shout a little less. Oh, that reminds me of this article about the mayor's affair with a certain airheaded blonde. Oh, look who it is. What are you doing here, Piper? Nah, -uh. not until it's in print. We can read all about it in the next issue. If you are doing the property reception area, Miss Piper, the mayor needs to make time for more responsible citizens. <laughs> I was just leaving anyway. talk to if I need to find a key to a house that's been locked up. If you're talking about a property that the city has seized, we only have one on the books. Mr. Kellogg's old house. You'd have to ask the mayor directly if you want the keys. Come on, can't you help me yourself? And if I could, why should I? Maybe we can reach an agreement. I just happen to have a pile of caps here. A gift? For me? Oh, how generous. Oh, there I go again, leaving a key out on my desk and forgetting to put it back. something here. When it's stout beer, 44 caliber bullets, cigars, San Francisco sunlights. Hmm, interesting brand. Won't lead us anywhere on its own, though. Any suggestions, Nick? Hmm. What about dog meat? A woman well, mutt like him can track a man's scent for miles. Well. Dog Meat seems eager for the job. Why don't you let him have a whiff? See if he picks up on the trail. Uh, before you head out, uh, I know this is personal business. You'd have to face Kellogg on your own. Just say so. Any words of wisdom? Kellogg really is the one who kidnapped your son. He's dangerous. But so are you. You don't need to be afraid of him or anything else the Commonwealth throws at you. I don't know. I might need your help on this one, but maybe I should go on my own. If you need me, just come knocking. If not, then the next time I see you, I hope it's with your son, safe and sound. <laughs> mm -hmm. 